See, I think uh, Mr. Nawaz Sharif's uh, visit is, uh, has been greeted with a lot of optimism and hope. And uh, though uh, I think uh, there is a feeling that uh, he didn't really take up the issue of Kashmir and uh, he kind of listened quietly to the uh, remarks on terrorism made by the Indian Prime Minister. Um, but I think uh, it was a symbolic uh, gesture that he came for the swearing in and uh, uh, hopefully uh, it should lead on to something more concrete. Yes, both sides are very keen on trade, um, but I think trade trade has to be in an environment where there is uh, a political uh, stability and consensus. And uh, every time Pakistan wants to give uh, India an offense, there is resistance. Though the government is very keen on giving um, uh, the status, but it doesn't want to call it that. It wants to call it uh, non-discriminatory market access, which is fine. And I don't think, uh, see there's already trade in that sense uh, between the uh, two sides of Kashmir, the intra-LOC trade, um, which was held up because of, the, uh, because of the arrest of a truck driver a few months ago. So there is trade already happening, but has that led to an uh, easing up of the security situation? I think not. So I think uh, it has to be uh, in uh, a simultaneous effort has to be made to have trade, you discuss other issues and then uh, you have to have trade in, a, in an atmosphere which is congenial in both countries. I think the negotiations were derailed uh, pretty much a few months ago when the Taliban did as it pleased. Um, the Taliban is now deeply factionalized huge important chunk has broken away from the main TTP. I don't know what the government intends to do by talking to the Taliban. Uh, I think there's no respite in these terrorist attacks and that the government itself has admitted that uh, terror and talks cannot go together. So I think unless there's a new kind of uh, approach and uh, also a revision of the expectations from the TTP, and its splinter groups, I don't see this going uh, pretty much anywhere. See, there is a, for some time in Pakistan, there is a realization that uh, the real enemy is, uh, the real threat to Pakistan's security is from the Taliban. Mm. And I think uh, the army accepts that, even the Americans have realized that, and. I think Pakistan has been trying to deal with that by having initiating these talks which have frankly not resulted in much. But I think as far as India is concerned, uh, I, think, I don't think the threat perception is reduced. I think India would still remain what it has always been, a traditional enemy. But I think right now Pakistan would be preoccupied with dealing with its you know, it's it's the it's internal as well as the external situation in Afghanistan um, for a while.